Hello, I'm Christopher Warnock of Renaissance Astrology, and today I'd like to talk about how to use the online software AstroApp in order to do fixed star elections. So you can see we're starting off on Google. Let's just hit the link to AstroApp. Um, now, AstroApp is not free software. This does uh, require a subscription, um, and the edition you want to get is the AstroApp. You can see here AstroApp Traditional Basic Edition, and the cost is $38.97 a year. Um, you know, I can recommend the software, um, though I'm not uh, involved with it. I don't get any sort of payment. Um, I don't, I'm not an owner, um, but I was involved in helping to get put together some of the features of the traditional uh, basic um, edition. Uh, so this is really the, the software that I recommend. It can be used for lots of other purposes. It's full chart drawing software, um, and I think it's very useful for traditional astrology. Um, but today we're just going to talk about how to use it for um, fixed star elections. So we just come up here to launch AstroApp. And I've logged in and everything, and this is the main screen. So the first thing I want to start off with is we go to Charts, and we're going to go New to get a new chart to get us started. I have already set up the defaults for my location, um, and we're using Regia Montanus. House Systems, Placidus is fine. Um, and we just want to say add new. And that's going to give us a chart for the current time uh, at the uh, default location. OK, so that's great. Get a round chart. If you want to do a square chart, if you're doing full chart elections, you can go ahead and find square charts. There's lots of things you can do with this program. What we're going to do today, though, is just go for the fixed stars up to traditions, then magic, then election fixed stars. Now what that does is take us to another uh, screen where we could change the location and also the time. So this is going to give us fixed star elections for approximately the next 30 days. If you wanted to look for, say, January, um, you know, you'd reset the, you could reset the, uh, the, t the date right here uh, in order to give you um, this is the date chooser. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say we want to look at after January 1st, 2018. Um, so we're fine with that. We've got the default location um, that's already set. So let's just hit OK. And then we're going to move this out of the way so we can actually see this election. So as you can see here, you've got 26 Cancer rising, which is the degree of the zodiac where Procyon is located. The moon is making a very tight applying conjunction, which is very nice. Um, so this is a very nice uh, Procyon election. Um, so uh, if you're not able to do uh, you know, a full chart election, this is a really nice substitute for it. Um, you can just plug in your, your data here, and it'll give you the next 30 days worth of, of fixed star elections that you can then use. Um, this, this time here, the midpoint, you could start about 15 or 20 minutes earlier and end about 15 or 20 minutes afterwards, and that would give you a very nice electional range for creating and then consecrating your talisman. Now, of course, um, it's always best to do a full chart. Um, and if you, once you get to the point where you can read a full chart, that's very useful. Um, but certainly, this is an excellent um, substitute. Um, up to a point f and gives you very nice uh, fixed star elections. So I recommend uh, using this if, if you, if you uh, can't do a full chart election. And certainly um, if you are working on my Astrological Magic course, this is an excellent program to get um, in order to do full chart uh, traditional elections or for any of my other traditional astrology courses.